Stage three of the Spirit of Tasmania Tour of Tasmania was widely regarded as the queen stage of this year's race, with the brutal 15 kilometre climb up to the finish at Poatina. The peloton nervously rolled out from the Launceston Silver Dome early in the morning on the 103 kilometre trek towards the mountain. After a fast start, a five rider breakaway group formed. The two most dangerous riders in the group in terms of the overall classification were Dan Fitter of State of Matter Map and Lockie Norris, riding here with Satellist Verve. The group stretched their lead out to almost four minutes and were hopeful of getting a head start over the peloton as they approached the climb. But it wasn't to be. The gap was coming down fast and after Mobius Future Racing drove the peloton on the lower slopes, their man Ben Dybel attacked hard. He caught and quickly passed Norris and Fitter and was looking unstoppable. Race leader Chris Hamilton in yellow was forced to chase and only the strongest riders could follow, which were Angus Lyons, Chris Harper and Dylan Sunderland. However, super motivated, Dybul rode away from the Hamilton group to claim a powerful win. Hands in the air, he's a happy boy. To win the, the stage is good, but uh, I was aiming for the to take the overall as well. That was. I was a bit disappointed with how it went yesterday, so I wanted to make up for it today and take the overall is, yeah, it's amazing. So it was an impressive stage win by Dybul ahead of Lyons and Sunderland, and Ben now takes over the race lead with only the final criterium in Launceston to come.